All right, flesh and blood people, I have my first and only box that I'm going to open of the first edition uh, Monarch product. Um, I have a couple other boxes that are sitting in storage, but I'll probably just open Unlimited if I'm going to open this stuff, because unfortunately this stuff is just too expensive. Um, uh, I did get this box for relatively cheap, so this is why we're opening it. So let's, uh, let's tear in. Pretty excited. Um, I know I don't have a lot of subscribers that play uh, TCGs. I don't have a lot of subscribers, but uh, if you are a TCG player um, and you haven't tried Flesh and Blood, it's definitely worth it. Did a did an event pre-release event uh, last weekend where uh, I placed fourth. I went three and one. Um, felt good. Uh, the games are amazing. Uh, they are really tight. The game I lost was to a Shane. Uh, he's a shadow character. All right, come on. Why is my focus so out of focus? All right. So our first character here, our first card here is uh, Deadwood Rumbler. I am getting the worst focus. Let me see if I can... All right, so let's see if that will work better. Anyhow, we got ourselves. The first couple cards are commons. Um... The art in this set is really kind of adult themed, so like uh, some of it is pretty graphic. But the cards look great. We got some new character types in the Shadow Room Blade, a lot of Light Warrior, Herald of Protection. This card did a lot of work for me in my pre release event. The blue uh, Illusionist cards work really good. Uh, blue is not something I've typically played with, but uh, finding blue in uh, the Prism decks are good. Uh, Belittle, Zealous Belting, Ghostly Visit, um, <laughs> Attractive Card, uh, Blinding Beam, is our Frontline Scout, and our Foil is. Well, this is not a foil. This is a regular card. Never mind. Alright, Aether Weave Armor. We've This is a reprint of the. Arcane Rising stuff to out muscle. Oh, our first card is a Majestic. Was that our foil? Is foil the last card in the pack? Maybe it is. We got ourselves a Rune Blade Instant, and it's a Inverted Existence. Very cool card. Iris of Reality Token. Um, let me double check this real quick. Oh, out muscle was a rare. That was our foil. This the foiling on this card is super subtle, to the point where it's barely noticeable. Anyhow, we'll we'll separate that. It's just a foil common. We got a rare, a majestic, and a foil. So you get two, you get two upscaled cards and one foil card per pack. You do usually get a special foil called coal foiling. Um, I'm not going to read off all these cards. I'll let you look at them real quick. And once we get through a pack or two, I'll probably speed this up to the later cards. All right. We got our iron slot. Our equipment slot is an iron high gauntlet. And then our foil is this nasty howl from beyond. That is a rare. Oh, wait. Am I missing something? Do we not get a foil every pack? I don't think we're getting foils. Because this isn't a foil. And this is another rare. Battlefield Blitz. And there's our token. Yeah, I'm, let me double check this real quick. I don't... I don't see... Bolt of Courage... We did get a rare there in Bolt of Courage. Is the first card of the pack the rare? I'm going to have to pay attention a little more. I'm, I'm used to a different... Used to a different way that these are laid out. Is this a foil? No. Common. 
Maybe I'm just missing it. Bolt of Courage, that was the foil we got. Blood Tribute, the little. Pound for pound, that did some work for me in the weekend. Okay, our foil here is Yanti Yanti. Oh, come on. It's a pretty card. Man, why is this? Yanti Yanti. And we got, that's our foil. And then equipment. Maybe that's the problem. It goes foil and equipment. Our rare is Tremor of Ethereal. Big earthquake. And then we got ourselves convulsions from the bellows of hell. Man. <laughs> and we got ourselves prism, sculptor of the arc light. Uh, this is our token. This is the adult. And this is the young hero. This is... That was a pretty strong character in, in pre-release. Um, so I went 3-1. and one. I lost to a Shane. Um, if you can guess who I played uh, by my favorite cards in the set, you'll see. Um, but it was I had a really great time. This, uh, oh, I think I missed it again. Maybe not. I don't know. We got a Majestic Soul Shield. Fo oh, this is a foil. Majestic foil. All right. Our equipment. Endless Maw is our rare. And Seeping Shadows. And our token. All right, guys, this is this is uh, confusing me. The, the foil is in a strange spot. I obviously haven't opened... Oops, sorry. I haven't opened a lot of Flesh and Blood. All right. We're going to get through these a little faster. Let's see if we can... All right, Memorial Ground. This is a great card. Our foil is the Courageous Steel Hand. It's a common foil. We got ourselves the Blood Drop Brocade. Beautiful art. Like, oh, nice chess piece equipment. Generic. And our rare is Dust Path Pillage. This kind of reminds me of, um, oh, I'm drawing a blank on the name, uh, Pilgrim to Prometh, uh, this place. So I, I imagine they probably are the same place. We'll have to look up the lore. V for Vanguard is a light warrior action. Bolton specialization. Bolton was a cool character. I think Bolton has a lot of potential. This set was very fun to play. Um, not seeing any of the old characters was actually kind of. At first, I was a little. Um, I was a little bummed that they were introducing new heroes. Thinking like, oh, I really wanted um, the older heroes. But once you start playing, you kind of. It kind of feels like a brand new game. Um, but you can take some of the old cards and add them to the older ones, which. I think in, a, in, a, in its own way feels good. Zealous Belting. This is a cool card. This little guy's riding this giant uh, flail's chain and a body the size of a house. What more could a cultist wish for? Yeah. <laughs> Super cool. Uh, shabby Stubby Hammers. This is a <laughs> ridiculous card. All right. Valiant Thrust. That's a warrior action. Seems very... Warrior and another Dusk Path Pilgrimage and a Cracked Bubble. Uh, people have pointed out that the Cracked Bubbles are more cracked in this set than the last set, and the last set was more cracked than the first set. So, apparently, at some point, I imagine we're going to see what's in the Cracked Bubbles. All right, let's pound for pound. Blue Minnowism. This is cool. So, zero cost defense card. It's foil. Iron hide helmet. Seek the horizon rare. Plow through. Warrior action. And Olivia. <laughs> She's so cool. She's super cool. Um, I don't. If. If you have an opportunity to get 
together and play some cards with people this is a great game to play they have blitz decks that allow for like they're 10 or 15 bucks you can get one or two and play against each other and they're really good try to get two different ones so you don't have a mirror match but they're super good oh foil memorial ground which i'm pretty happy about and it's the zero cost this is this is uh this is good i think this could be a lot of fun especially because i mean you can cycle you can cycle some weird cards with this. This is good. I, I think the yellow will probably be better because of the um, little bit wider range. Uh, time skip skippers. These are neat little equipment. Um, wider range of cards you can retrieve out of your graveyard. But being able to stack, stack your top deck is really cool. Uh, seep the Shadows. Ooh, nice majestic sword. Raiden's Dusk Pain. Once per turn, zero, attack. This is like a free attack. Free, if you've charged this turn, Raiden gets a plus three. This, this is bonkers. This is Bolton Super Sword, because that, that's a free attack. Once per turn. Basically, follow up any attack that had go again with a free attack. As long as you've charged. Super cool. Um... These cards look so good. Like, I love Illuminate. One of my favorite cards. It's so pretty. And a lot of people complain because the artwork's recycled with all the different um, pitch values. The blue, the red, and the yellow. But it doesn't really bother me. I actually kind of like it. Um, it doesn't feel bad. Uh, nice engulfing light. Light warrior action. We're getting a lot of nice light warrior. We got ourselves an ebb and fold. A little space helmet. Soul Harvest. This is Leviah, just in her full shadow brute form. Out muscle. Nice coinage arm wrestling match. And Hatchet of the Mind token with the Spectral Shield. So, um, I have a couple more of these boxes of first edition that are going in the closet. That'll probably stay in the closet for a few years. Um, this this card game has a, a bonkers financial situation attached to it right now, and I just doesn't feel good. So the spoiling in these cards are pretty subtle. Most of them are just pretty dark. I, I don't know if I like how subtle it is, but I don't know. Maybe it's just printing quality. Um, but it's our nice foil rare. We got ourselves an Aether Weave Iron uh, Chest, Captain's Call. This is a choose your own attack that's pretty cool and then tome of torment the mythic this is a very cool card this is um <laughs> this is a very good mythic this is probably one of the better ones i think chain and the galaxy blade i think we've seen that one before that's that's oh, i putting these on the wrong side that's going to be a pretty bonkers card i think that's going to be one of the chase cards from this particular series besides the fabled and the legendaries those are those will always be kind of extra chase, but all right, we got ourselves one more ground, another ghostly visit. Hey, a double rare pack with the um, writhing beast Hulk. Um, this time a red pitch. Wait, these are identical. We've got two of the same rares. I wonder if we're gonna get another blood to torment. That would be crazy, right? So, nope. Uh, different equipment. We got the gallantry gold. We got. Endless Maul as our rare. And we got Tremor of Irithral Blue. And we got Prism Young Hero. She is amazing. This this will be alright. It's a common weapon, so there's probably better. But this would be alright if you could get her to uh, proc off her auras. Um, in, in Limited, I, I see that being a little hard to do in like a Limited without being a draft set. Uh, if you drafted, you might be able to draft that with in mind, but as a limited play what you got, it, it would be tricky. All right. All right, Surging Militia, this is a good card. Um, I like I like the I like the pitch and the the defense here. This is a good defense card with a little bit of attack. Um, the breakpoint in limited was 4, so these these were perfect. Uh, stubby Hammers. All right, unhallowed rights. 
Howl from Beyond. Oh, man. That is a bonkers looking card. That guy, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. And Ursa the Soul Reaper. Um, rumor has it, I have a promo of this card in foil coming. I'm excited to see that in real life. I either have Ursa or the other side of that. We'll just have to see. Um, they did a special promo for those cards. Uh, One-sided token cards, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, our foil is Smash with Big Tree. <laughs> I love the uh, the flavor of that big old massive attack. Our equipment is Halo of Illumination. Very cool light equipment. We got ourselves Convulsion from the Bellows of Hell, blue. And Out Muscle, red. And a Galaxy token with Soul Shackle token on the back. So the, I think there is a Galaxy Blade full art Easter egg, I guess they call it, or I don't know what they call these. Um, secret card. They, they're not necessarily announced at the beginning, but um, I think that Blade has a full art version in this as a kind of mythic rare um, level card, so that'd be interesting. It's a little like a little bonus. We got ourselves Spears of Serality, an illusionist attack. I like the illusionist. She was pretty cool. Ironhide Helm, Unhallowed Rites, Blue Pitch, Consuming Aftermath, Red Pitch, Shadow Action, and Soul Shackle Attack. Uh, Soul Shackle token with Spectral Shield token. All right, halfway through the box. Um, yeah, I don't know uh, a lot about like if this game is in in the foreign countries or not, but if you can get yourself a box of this in South America or Mexico or whatever, man, play with your friends. It's really worth it. It's it's if you like Magic: The Gathering, this is much different, but it does take a part of your brain that that need, is needed for uh, building these decks, but I think once you start playing, you can really get the, the hang of it really quick. We got ourselves Who's the Shadow Beast. These, this is a nice piece of, um, this reminds me of Snap uh, Snapdragon Scalers in the fact that it's a common, usable piece of equipment. So that's pretty cool. All right, we got Captain's Call and Mark of the Beast Mythic. This is a bonkers card. This was, this beat the crap out of me a few times. And another prism token. So we get a lot of tokens. The tokens are really good for, like, uh, stores. I think ultimately that's what this product was initially for. The first edition is for collectors, obviously. There's no other explanation for why it's so hot or falling on the shelves. Other than there's a huge arbitrage uh, thing going on. A lot of people are buying it cheap and selling it to other people for much more expensive all right, Bornyard Marauder, Time Skippers again. Oh, Ode to Wrath. Wrath. It's our Illusionist Instant. I like that art. It's kind of, uh, it's not very realistic like a lot of these other pieces. This looks like a very um, mosaic kind of piece of art. And then we got ourselves Soul Harvest. That is a, yeah, followed by a Libia token. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. All right, we're only a few packs left. We haven't pulled our cold foil. That's a bummer. I was really hoping, I was hoping to see one sweet, maybe two. I've uh, been lucky, right? All right. It usually takes the place of the foil, so it could pop up at any moment. Hey, we got ourselves a foil rare in the Dimenaxinal Gateway. I can't pronounce that word. It's Shadow Blade, uh, Shadow Room Blade action. Iron Plate. Parable of Huma uh, Humility. This is a Light Illusionist card. Plow Through Warrior Action. And a Soul Shackle. Um, the Cold Foils are the heart and soul of the collectible uh, portion of this game right now. Uh, boxes pretty much live and die by the, the, the Cold Foils that come out of them. Um, Especially with the box prices at the the price that they are, seeing as I bought this box for ninety dollars, I figured I can open this one without feeling too bad. Um, so that's that feels pretty good. All right, our foil is this. Oh my god, that's so cool! 
I almost like the actual subtle foil on this one. Seeds of Agony. I know it's a common, but man, that looks so good. So good. Hooves of the Shadow Beast is our common. Glisten Rare Light Instant. And Unhallowed Rites. And a Hatchet of the Mind with a Spectral Shield. Man, that's super cool. Seeds of Agony might be one of my favorites. I might want to get a... I would probably get a playmat of that, even though it's kind of disgusting. It's a little... The blood stuff in this is a little... Whew. All right, we got our first item. I don't know if we... We might have had another one. I've been flipping through these pretty good. These are... These are cool. Items are cool in this game. They stick on the battlefield for a lot longer. All right. Dar Dustpath Pilgrim. Foil rare. An ebon fold. Seeping Shadows. Oh, another Ryan Dusk Bane. Man, that's... That's pretty cool. That's a mythic. Double mythic here. And, oh, this is the Levia Shadow Bow, uh, Born Abomination adult version. And on the back side would be her young hero version um so the one of the cool things is the, uh one of the the uh the decks are called the blitz decks for this particular set they, they introduced a another card type called the um mentor card that's uh special to the blitz decks seeds of agony again uh and they they, they go with the blitz decks and they kind of make young heroes have a little bit of extra power on the board. It's going to be an interesting thing to play with, and I, I think it gives a reason for long-term players to pick these up and play with them, too. So it'll be good. Void Wrath. All right, we got ourselves Foil Zealous Belting. Blood Drop Brocade. Invigorating Light. I love that. That is so pretty. And Captain's Call Red with a chain bound by shadows. Shadow Rune Blade Hero Adult and Chain as a Child. He kind of reminds me of um, Ramsey Bolton from Game of Thrones. And uh, I didn't like him either, so Chain is not my favorite. I'm not a Rune Blade fanboy. He plays well. He's the he's the card that he's the He's the deck that beat me in our pre-release. All right, Express Lightning is our foil common. Gallantry Gold. Herald of Judgment. Glisten again. And Hatchet of the Body. All right, we're down to three packs, and I have not gotten a cold foil. This is actually kind of depressing. I'm going to be kind of bummed opening up this box and not getting a cold foil. But I would even be more bummed if I sold this box to somebody. And there was no cold foil. I would probably get, I'd probably get called out as like scammer or something. So, opening this myself is probably, probably a better thing. Uh, Adrenaline rush, smash with big trees are foil. So again, no cold foil. Iron plate, vexing malice is our rare. Ooh, we got soul food is our mythic. I'm sorry, I think they're mythic. They're majestic. I'm sorry, the new new terminology. And another cracked bobble. Two packs left. Um, man, it's going to be uh, really uh, exciting if my last pack is... We're going to slow roll this now, because I'm, I'm, just in case. I don't want to... I don't, don't want to surprise myself. All right. So, Soul Harvest... That's nice. That's that Lavania Shadow Action foil. Dream Weavers. Man, this did some work. Soul Reaper. Rare. Seek the Horizon. It's cool. And Hatch of the Mind, followed by Spectral Shield. So, last pack. Looks like I'm going to go home cold foil this. Unless I missed it. Which. Let's be real, I missed a few of the foils early, so maybe I did. I doubt it, though. All right. Doesn't feel like we got one, so... Surging Militia. Seek Enlightenment, and... We got a Majestic. Oh, wait, we did get a Cold Foil. <laughs> we got a Cold Foil Majestic. Look at that. It's Hexagore, the Death Hydra. Cold Foil Beauty. Oh, well, that's not too bad. That doesn't feel too bad at all. Nice hexagore. 
I think this could be broken. So that's that's pretty cool. We got ourselves a sweet mythic cold foil. That's 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 bonkers. All right, Dreamweaver, Merciful Retribution, and ending on mythic with the beautiful twin bladed. Uh, I don't know what she is. She looks she looks mean. Looks like a hunter of some sort. But she's uh, she's pretty mean looking. She killed a lot of things. Ex exude confidence. She's excluding it. And Bolton. So just uh, let's just look at that again. So the soul, the f cold foiling on this is really subtle. I don't know if you guys are. Oh man, I hope it didn't. It's really subtle. You can't really see it on camera, but it looks so good. Shadow Brute Weapon, Cold Foil. This, this was a winning box. So, all right, guys. Thank you for sharing this with me. Uh, peace, and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, go play play Monarch at your local LGS. It's, it's super worth it. And uh, talk to whoever you can. Play.